it, it's twisting. Oh, snap off. This is not safe. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to my channel. My name's Chris. And today we're gonna take a look at over 20 different brands of universal joints or swivel adapters for your sockets and extensions. We're gonna take all these to failure. So let's go through the brands that we have that we're gonna look at today. Duralast, Graze Pneumatic, Capri Tools, Job Smart, Milwaukee, Power Torque, Motivex Tools, Snap-on, Pittsburgh Professional from Harper Freight, Duralast, Cobalt, Napa Carlisle, Masterforce, DeWalt, Husky, SK Tools, Craftsman, Stanley, Tecton, Evercraft, Titan, Gear Wrench, and another Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Professional. We got a little mix of impact as well as your standard universal joints. We'll test out all these universal joints before we take them to ASME minimum proof torque of 62.5 foot pounds. And then we'll go ahead and test them again. And then we're gonna see which one is the strongest universal joint that we have out of the bunch. And to capture our first measurements to get to 62.5 foot pounds, we're gonna be using the Quinn Digital Torque Meter from Harbor Freight. Then we'll be using the Gray's Pneumatic Adapter. These are pretty low profile. This will allow us to go from half inch to 3 8 inch. Now the final portion, when we take the universal joints to failure, we're gonna be using the Rad Torque System Smart Socket to capture the peak torque value when these go to failure. A socket like this is one of the world's most expensive. There'll be a link up above in the cards, as well as down below in the description for more information and testing that we did on this socket. Something like this, while it's made in Canada, it can be acquired in the United States through Torque Tools Inc. When you want it right, when you need it tight and you need it accurate, Torque Tools Inc. might be your next stop for pneumatic, hydraulic, and bolting torque needs that are pretty heavy duty. Now let's get to testing these universal joints. And that Motivex one is one of a kind. So the first universal joint is gonna be the Motivex Tools. And this one is spring-loaded. So no matter whether we take this one to 62.5 foot-pounds, it's probably gonna spring right back to where we want it. The question is, is it gonna make it there? All right, so we got 64.4 foot-pounds. And you can see that there is ever so slightly just a little bit of play in there, which is pretty expected. Next up is the DeWalt. And here you can see that there is no play in that. And just of note, these universal joints you got to keep them pretty straight or you're going to have issues with them bending and flexing on you and causing all sorts of problems. So 62.9 foot pounds. Oh, and you can see we already have a little bit of slop in there where we didn't have that before. So next up is our Craftsman. And you can see that there is not a lot of play or wobble in there. So let's go ahead and take that one to 62.5 foot-pounds. Now this is a Craftsman Stanley Black & Decker version that can be purchased at Lowe's. And this one means it's made in China. So the Craftsman went to 64.5 foot-pounds. And you can see that there is ever so slightly just a little bit of play in there. And that's because when we were torquing on this thing, there is a little bend that started happening in that joint which is pretty expected. So up next is the Tecton Universal Swivel, and you can see that we don't have any issues. Oh, I can't wait to break this. So the Tecton taking 63.3 foot-pounds, and as you can see, the Universal Swivel has a little bit of play in it, but is holding up for the most part. Here we have the Stanley Black & Decker Universal Swivel, and that one's holding up just fine. Again, that's a 9 16 3 8 inch drive socket. All right, so we got 62.6 foot-pounds on the Stanley Black & Decker, and we have a little bit of flex in there, probably more than everything else that we've had other than the DeWalt. Here we have the Evercraft from Napa Auto Parts. And as you can see, when these are brand new, we don't have any issues with them having too much play in them. But over time, 
Every one of these is gonna get some wibble and wobble except for that Motive X tools with the spring load in there. All right, so we got 63.5 foot-pounds and the Evercraft from Napa Auto Parts is also not really having any issues, a little bit of bend there. Here we have the Snap-on USA Made Universal Swivel. This happens to be one of the most expensive swivels coming in at over $55. It also happens to be machined really, really well. Let's go ahead and take this to 62.5 foot-pounds for our ASME spec. 63.7 foot-pounds. And the Snap-on is still surviving, no issues. Just as tight as ever still. Here we have the Power Torque Universal Swivel Adapter. And this one is probably one of the loosest ones so far, especially for being brand new. All right, so we got right on 62.5 foot-pounds on the Power Torque. And you can see that that is definitely probably one of the loosest ones that we've seen so far. Here we have the Cobalt Universal Joint. You can see that we don't really have any play in that. So we'll go ahead and see how this one likes 62.5 foot-pounds. So 63 foot-pounds. It doesn't look like we have any play in there, so that's a really good thing for Cobalt. Here we have the Husky Tools from Home Depot. This is another brand new universal swivel. So we got 62.7 foot-pounds. And we don't have any play in that adapter. Here we have the Master Force Universal Joint. This is from Menards, and as you can see, this one, I'll be honest with you, it's well used. I've had this in my tool stash for quite some time. I just want to see how this one does, and I didn't want to buy an extra one. But we're going to test it anyways. Again, know that this one's been well used. Sixty three point three foot pounds. And it's pretty much in the condition that I had it before we tested it. And again, that's well used. You can see all of the grease that is stashed inside there. Put a little electrical tape around on that. Maybe a rubber band. It'd be good to go. Here we have the Carlisle tools from Napa Auto Parts. Didn't have any play in that. Sixty four point six foot pounds and just a little bit of play in there. Here we have the Capri tools. Now, this is one of the other unique ones. This is a locking universal joint so that socket doesn't come off there. And as you can see, we don't have any play starting out on the Capri tools locking universal joint. So let's go ahead and take this to 62.5 foot pounds and see how this one fares. So 63.1 foot pounds on the Capri tools. And as you can see, this one does have a little bit of play in it. Now this one is a little bit longer than the other adapters and it is that locking universal joint. Here we have the Pittsburgh Professional from Harbor Freight. Doesn't have any play in it before we're starting out. I'll go ahead and take this one to 62.5 foot-pounds. That's actually quite a bit of torque if you really think about it. So we hit 63.9 foot-pounds. And we have just an ever so slight amount of play in there. That's your Pittsburgh Pro from Harbor Freight. This universal joint is the Job Smart from Tractor Supply Company. And before we even get started, you can see that there is quite a bit of play in this universal joint. All right, let's go ahead and take this to 62.5 foot pounds. Right on 62.5. And as we expected, 
it's just as sloppy as before. Here we have the Milwaukee Universal Joint, and yep, this one's brand new, and it has a ton of play in it. So we're aiming for 62.5 foot-pounds. So the Milwaukee hitting 63.5 foot-pounds, and as we tested before, it's still just as loose and has a bunch of play. So here we have the SK Tools USA Made Universal Joint. This one has been in my collection of tools for quite some time. While it is used, it's still holding up very, very well. So let's go ahead and put our torque on here. Does seem to wobble just a little bit when I put that amount of force on there. So hopefully it doesn't slip off. And we hit 63.6 foot pounds and the SK Tools still holding up strong. Here we have a Duralast from AutoZone Universal Adapter. And this one, yep, there we go. It's got a little bit of play in it. We're gonna go ahead and test it. That one actually is also brand new. So we hit 63 foot-pounds, a lot looser. That's your Duralast from AutoZone. That's one of the new ones that's made in China. Here we have the Gray Pneumatic Impact Universal Joint. This will be one of five that we will be testing, and you can see that we don't have any play in there. And that's a brand new Gray Pneumatic Universal Adapter. Now this has got a pin in it, but hopefully it won't operate any different. We got 63.4 foot-pounds. Oh, and we took that 18 millimeter socket and little extension with it. You can see that together definitely adds a little weight to it. Without that, you can see that it is holding up that socket as we would expect. Here we have the Duralast, and this has a pin in it. Doesn't really have any play, but we're gonna go ahead and take this one to 62.5 foot-pounds. Ah, and we actually went to 70. We don't really have any play on that one either. So here we have the Titan Tool Universal Joint and it has a lot of play in it before we start out. 62.2 foot-pounds and we expect to have a lot of play still in there. Here's the Gear Wrench Pinless Universal Joint and we don't have any play in there before we're starting out. So let's go ahead and get this up to 62.5 foot-pounds right on it. And we don't have any play in it afterwards. And the final impact universal joint is the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Professional. So right on 62.5 foot-pounds. And we do have a little bit of play in there but not a lot. So pretty interesting results so far, taking these all up to ASME minimum proof torque of 62.5 foot pounds. If you're liking this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, make sure you give it two thumbs down and we're gonna take all these to failure. So here we have the Motivex Universal Adapter. We're gonna go ahead and take this one to failure or as much as it can possibly take. Holy cow, 156 foot-pounds. That is not what I was expecting. But even at that, because it has those spring-loaded pins in there, that still would be able to take some more. All right, let's go ahead and try that again. We're going to finish this one off. All right, Motive X, here we go. A hundred and fifty-eight foot-pounds. Look at that. It's still spring-loaded. Nice job, Motivex. Up next is the DeWalt. And here we go with the DeWalt. We're putting down the torque. Oh, that's taking a beating. A hundred and ninety-two foot-pounds. Just shearing that apart. Yeah. 
That one's not spring loaded. So here we have the Craftsman from Stanley Black & Decker. This used to be one of my favorite brands. Now it's pretty much all made in China. As you can see at 71 foot pounds, we're starting to slip. It looks like it's bending a little bit. So we're gonna try that again. So at 113, still twisting a little bit. Hundred and thirty three foot pounds, but we are just bending this all up. So we're gonna try it one more time for the last time. Oh, the Stanley Black and Decker Craftsman Universal Joint taking it to 146 foot pounds. And here we have the Tecton. We'll see how this one does. Oh, that feels a lot better already than the Craftsman. We're also using a Tecton ratchet here. This is a 3 8 inch drive and it's gonna snap on that universe. Oh, there we go, 110 foot pounds. Wow, that is not what I expected. We actually broke that, not on one of the pins, but on the connecting piece at 110 foot pounds. Here we have the Stanley. This is something that was probably picked up at Walmart before they started moving in all the heart products. And that's doing pretty good. Oh, I can see it bending already. And we're just gonna give it some more torque. It's done for. Whoa, 191 foot pounds. Just blasting that thing apart. That's really impressive. Wow, I didn't expect that from Stanley. Come on, Craftsman, you're made by Stanley. What's your deal? Here we have the Evercraft from Napa Auto Parts. This is their lesser brand to the Napa Carlisle. We'll see how this one does. And I'm surprised these are taking as much as they are. Make sure you wear eyewear. Don't ever try this at home. Oh, geez. Man, that thing sounded like a bullet when it came off there. Wow, 197 foot pounds. Wow, we popped that pin right out. This is not safe. So up next, we have the Snap-on. We're gonna switch to a little bit beefier device here because these things are taking way more torque than I ever imagined before they would start snapping. So let's get on with this snap on here. Wow. So 150 foot pounds and that snap on is really doing well, but that would still hold a socket. Look at that. It still holds an 18 millimeter impact socket. You got to jiggle that before it falls free. All right. Now we're throwing down some torque on the snap on. We'll see how this one performs. And it's twisting. Oh, snap on. The snap on taking it to 198 foot pounds. Before we sheared that thing off. Look at that. It's still pretty strong. Here we have the power torque, and this one's got a little bit of play and flex in before we even get started. Hopefully, this one will still do really well, though. We'll see. Interesting breakage on there. We're going to call that because it is actually super unsafe. So you can see that this thing is bent and mangled. The power torque taking it to 163 foot pounds before it's destroyed. Here we have the Cobalt from Lowe's. This might be some fan favorites. I personally, I used to really like this brand when it was available. But since Craftsman moved in, it's not as available. Ah, we can see it bending, it's giving. Oh, that's definitely done at 147 foot pounds. So 147 foot pounds on the Cobalt. Here we have the Husky from Home Depot. I expect this one to do pretty decent. Hopefully we'll get in the 150s with this or better. 
I feel it starting to bend. Ah, 172. 172 foot-pounds before the Husky failed. That's pretty impressive. Here we have the Master Force from Menards. Now remember, this one is well used. Came from my personal stuff. I think it's still gonna do pretty darn well. Oh, there you can see it bending. 177 foot-pounds before the Master Force shears off. And you can see that that thing was really, really well used. Here we have the Carlisle from Napa Auto Parts. Now this is similar to the Evercraft, but this is their more expensive store brand. And hopefully it performs better. It's taking some nice torque on there. Ooh, 174 foot pounds. Here we have the Capri Tools locking universal joint. This is the only one out of the bunch that is a locking adapter on it. And we'll see how this one does. It's feeling pretty good so far. I do have a slight twist in there, which means it's gonna give pretty soon. Oh, that did really well. So there we have the Capri Tools doing 158 foot-pounds, which is well above the minimum ASME proof torque of 62.5 foot-pounds. So everything doing really, really well so far. Here we got the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Professional. Now this is one of the relatively most inexpensive ones. You can get a set of three of these for under 10 bucks. And hopefully this one does pretty well making it one of the best bang for their bucks, but we'll find out here in a second. Ooh, there's a nice snap. 165 foot-pounds on the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Professional. Here we have the Job Smart from Tractor Supply. This is one of the least expensive sets. And this had a set of three for about $4.99 when you can catch it on sale. And we're twisting, bending, and it's coming apart at 114 foot pounds. Who just snapped that right in half. Here we have the Milwaukee Universal Joint. This one also had quite a bit of play in it. And honestly, this one doesn't seem a lot different than the Job Smart one, but we'll see if it performs better. I'll tell you, the ratchet and the socket looks pretty nice, but you can see that this thing is already bending. We are getting a good amount of torque on it. Ooh, 152 foot-pounds. That's what I like. Just shearing and shattering apart. SK Tools, this is a USA-made universal joint. This one was slightly used, but I think it's still gonna perform very well. Ooh, 163 foot-pounds. Just shearing apart. Nicely done, SK. Here we have the Duralast from AutoZone. My bet on this one is it performs similar to the Husky Tools one, but we'll see what happens. Oh, it's got a lot of flex in it. 152 foot-pounds, but it's still not given. Ha, ah, we're gonna take this one to failure. All right, Duralast, you're not gonna last longer than this. Oh yeah, 172 foot-pounds. Duralast, you're done. Here we have the Gray Pneumatic Universal Joint. This is our first impact one. We'll see if this one performs any better than the chrome ones. Oh, it's feeling like it's got a lot of torque that we can put on this. Oh, 257 foot-pounds. Gray pneumatic snapping off right at the drive adapter, 257 foot-pounds. That's really impressive. Now the nice thing about these low profile gray pneumatic adapters are, it's got a hole in it. You just pop that right out, you're good to go. Here's the Duralast Universal Joint from AutoZone. We'll see how this one performs. Hopefully this will do just like that gray pneumatic. Ooh, 227 foot pound. That one's snapping off right at the drive. Here is the Titan tool. 
I don't know if this is gonna do any better than any of the other chrome ones, but this is impact rated. At 130 foot pounds, give me a break, Titan. So here we have the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Professional impact rated universal joint. 184 foot pounds. We actually tore the insides of that out. 184 foot pounds is still a ton of torque. And here we have the gear wrench pinless universal joint. Hundred and forty three foot pounds on the gear wrench pinless universal joint. So, there you go, guys. We had all of these universal joints, they met their demise. We took them to failure. They all met ASME spec of a minimum proof torque of 62.5 foot pounds. But there are definitely some clear winners when we look at all of these universal joints. Now, we're going to throw up a chart that shows all the maximum proof torques of these. And you guys are going to have to decide which universal joint is best for you, whether it be the impact ones or one of the slimmer chrome ones. Now you can see that you can pay a little bit more and maybe get a little bit more, but any of these potentially for the price will do what you needed to do. Now there's very few of these universal adapters that are different than everybody else. One of them being the pinless gear wrench. Another one being the locking universal joint from Capri Tools and the spring-loaded Motive X universal joint. Now those are pretty unique. There are some things similar to them, but not exactly the same and definitely at the same price point. So make sure you're choosing the best tool for the job. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. Make sure you click the thumbs down and then click it again. And as always guys, work smarter, not harder, and I'll catch you in the next video.